Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 8 in Common Errors in ADF Playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to troubleshoot this error called found more columns than expected. So let's see when we land up with this kind of error. So whenever we are trying to use a copy activity in ADF pipeline in order to copy the data from either CSV file or a TSV file from ADLS to SQL Server, then we can land up on this kind of error. Okay. So the error says error found while processing CSV or TSV format text where the source is this file with row number two found more columns than expected column count three okay so the expected column count is three in this scenario but in the source it found more more than the expected column numbers okay so let's see practically how this kind of error occurs and how to mitigate this error okay so let me go to adf pipeline so for the demo purpose i have already reproduced this kind of scenario where the user may land on this issue where you can see i am getting the same error which we just talked about okay so how did i get this error let me show you the source file so this is how my csv file looks like okay so i have three columns id name and address okay and there are two rows here and the same needs to be landed in the sql table so here if you see the demo table here we have three columns that is id name and address so the data from this csv file needs to be loaded into my sql table and it expects the two rows from the csv would land into two rows into the sql table okay using copy activity i am trying to load the table so how i am doing it is in the source i have created a data set which is pointing to my csv file and in the sync i have created another data set which is pointing to my sql table okay if i open this you can see the table name is dbo.demo table okay so now all i want is to run this copy activity and to load the data present in my csv file into the sql table okay so let's run this pipeline i already executed once but let's run rerun it so you can see the copy activity failed with the same error. Let me expand it. Okay. So let's try to troubleshoot this error. So let me go to the source file. And here, if you look at the data carefully, it has two rows and three columns. And if you check the first row, it has ID one, name is Anu, address is Bihar comma India. Okay. And this is a CSV file, which means comma separated file which means comma is the delimiter of this data set. Wherever it finds a comma, it will think of it as separating the columns with the comma value. If you try to preview it, you can see how, it, how the data looks like. The content of the first row got separated into four columns instead of just three that we were expecting. And the reason behind this is, let me go back. Here you can see between this address value, Bihar comma India it is separated by comma again which is basically acting as the delimiter in this comma separated file right so we need to find some way so that the copy activity does not treat these two values as two column values instead of that it should treat these two values as a single column value so apart from comma which is acting as the delimiter another thing to notice is all the string values are enclosed within a single quotes. You can see there name and address are string values and ID is an integer. So we can ignore ID name and address are enclosed within a single quotes. So just remember this. Now let's go to the copy activity and we will change some con configurations in the data set so that we can achieve our desired output by mitigating the error we are landing on. Okay, so let's go back to the pipeline. Let me close this error. And let me go to the copy activity again. And in this source data set, let me open the data set here. And here, let's check the configurations that are leading to the error. So you can see the column delimiter for the CSV is by default comma, which is fine because our source file is also comma separated. Okay. If it would have been a say pipe separated, then we need to modify it to a pipe separated value okay so we would have to select this pipe instead of comma okay so let me change it again back to comma because our source file is 
having comma as the delimiter okay so the column delimiter is fine and then there is nothing to do with the row delimiter it's the default new line value so we are good with that now if you check at the quote character which is by default set to double quotes but if we look at the source file our data is enclosed within single quotes which means that our column values are enclosed within this single quotes character so we need to interpret this value as one column value and then similarly this value should be interpreted as one column value instead of two column values but it is not matching with the configuration present in this data set if you look at this the quote character is set as double quotes but whereas our source file is having single quote as the quote character so either we can change our source file itself by changing this single quote to double quotes okay so if we do that then it would match the configuration present in our data set okay so i will do the same thing for both the rows and by doing this let me save this and now if i try to run this pipeline we are expecting that it would treat the three column values as three instead of four and it would load the data into the three columns in this table as well so let's wait yeah so you can see now we did not get that error and the copy activity got succeeded so let's go to the table and let's try to execute this select statement so you can see the data landed successfully without any error and you can see the address value here this is having the comma as well and it is able to load it within three columns instead of throwing error and the value are also intact you can see bihar comma india is coming in the address okay so in order to mitigate this error what we did is we changed the source file itself and we corrected the uh, quote character by changing the single quotes into double quotes but sometimes what happens is we do not have the power to modify the source file we do not have access to the source file either the source file is handled by a separate team or else the file access permission lies with the clients in that case we can change the dataset configuration in itself instead of changing the source file okay so let me change the data here back to the previous one and then again let me go to the dataset and instead of double quotes we have to assign the same value present in the source file okay so the quote character value would be single quotes and then i would rerun the data pipeline and we would expect another two entries into this table with the same value and without any error so let's wait for this copy activity to be completed yeah so the execution is completed let's go back into the table and let's execute this we would expect four rows so you can see the entry has been made by just a simple configuration change into the data set okay so we have changed this quote character by making it in line with the source file quote character okay so that's how we would be mitigating this error so as we have seen in this demo while using copy activity in adf to load data from csv to sql table the value would be considered as if they belong to two different columns if they have a data set delimiter within the value so in our case we had a data set delimiter you can see comma was present that was the reason adf was considering it as two different columns instead of just one column so what we need to do is we need to consider using correct quote character in the data set configuration so we have adjusted the quote character in the data set configuration and that's how we resolved this error okay so this was a very common error when you are dealing with csv file and loading the data into sql table using adf so this is a very simple solution to it just adjust the quote character and you will get the desired output so that's it for this video guys i hope you find this video helpful please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you